Hello everybody, it is me, Postmodern Cowboy, and I'm back with episode number two of Ravensworth Castle and Going Medieval. Going Medieval is a community management game from Foxy Voxel. It's a lot of fun. Um, I got off a good start on a good seed in the last uh, session. If you'll remember, I'm on the Richmond seat, um, and uh, we're building Ravensworth Castle, which is actually historically located in Richmond. It's a lowercase r for anyone who wants to recreate this map seed. Um, but it does have a really good raised area um, with some uh, natural promontories uh, and some shelter uh, that really allowed me to create a wooden castle very quickly, or at least a wooden, uh, you know, what is this? This is a fortified farm. I'd call this a fortified farm. And so I've got about four peasants now living in a fortified farm. And our goal in the uh, upcoming session will be to prepare for winter uh, and also to prepare for uh, the first serious raid. Um, that's gonna mean getting some iron banded doors, some reinforced doors to protect our settlement. Okay, so off we go. First step, of course, is gonna be research. Um, I think in the short term, my priority is actually food. I don't think I've got any food in the stockpile and it looks like Seward's shoveling the last bit of food we've got into his into his face. So I'm gonna send him to hunt that deer right there. That should uh, resolve at least some of the, the food issue. Is she cooking? Let's check uh, Anise is not cooking. She's actually mining. I said to cook, and then her research will be number two, because I want her researching as much as possible. Did you get the deer? Unclear. And we should harvest all the foodstuffs we can while we can. Is that the deer? No, that's not the deer. What happened, Seward? We've got enemy corpses in the stockpile. That's just not going to fly either. We really don't want settler corpses in the stockpile for that matter. I need to create a, uh, a garbage dump somewhere. What's going on with deer hunt deer? Maybe if I actually set it to his personal priority. That makes sense, right? Oh yeah, he got it. Bagged it right away. So yeah, I'm gonna have to set up a uh, kind of stockpile here, a dumping stockpile. Let's put it outside the walls for now. Um, we're likely to get some stone building done too, hopefully. Um, that's gonna be the next step. Or maybe wood. Maybe maybe we'll build in wood today. Uh, tower here might be good to have um, more more of a fallback position um, for my fortified tower because this is not. Uh, sorry, my fortified farm, because this is this is not a very ideal position. Oh, look, they're they're harvesting on their own. This is good. This is very good. Will they haul on their own? I, I assume they probably will. But yeah, I just got uh, just got done making a, a nebulous video. Still, actually, haven't uploaded the uh, the first going medieval video, but it's 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 there. It's it's it exists. So. Okay. That's good. We've got some food now. So the next step is going to be getting that research through to I need to get smelting. So I'm going to need a bunch more books. I may as well build a second research table. Um, I'm going to put it in this in this building. And now why can't I? I guess because there are no trees. We don't have any wood. At all. I've, I've chopped down all the trees in the immediate vicinity of the castle. Um, so we're going to need to expand a little bit. I'm going to mark out just a small, small plot of trees enough to get that table built, I think. And I'm also going to need to build a smokehouse. We'll just cite that for now beside the animal pen. I've got the resources to build that. And you know what? I'm actually going to put, because we have this, this little bed problem here, I'm going to put a couple beds 
in this room. I don't know if they're hauling or not. He's hauling. Francis is hauling. And he's building. He's hauling and he's building. I'm actually going to set him to all full time here. And you know what? It's, I'm actually going to reverse this. Seward can haul Frank. Can. And construct. Yeah, see, so he's getting all into the, uh, the new shelves down here. <laughs> the reason they haven't put the food away is, uh, yeah, there, there we go. He's putting the food away now. All right, that's good. Things are going great. Flax over here. It's gonna need to be cut. So I figure we probably got uh, about five days, I would imagine, until uh, the enemy raid arrives, and. Should only be a handful of like probably seven enemies or something but they're gonna come straight with the gates and if, if it's these wooden gates they'll go straight through like butter like butter so the need for reinforced doors is pretty dire once you get those you can sort of slow down your um your gameplay loop a little bit and make more calculated decisions but early on it really is a rush to smelting reinforced doors and then your next big priority is tailoring so that your people don't freeze in the winter because you need to make them warm clothing um, so we're going to do that uh, at least start that process today maybe we'll get a tailor we should get a community member joining at some point in the next couple of days so uh, if we get a tailor that'd be great um, that would solve a lot of problems but she's just cooking and she's making lots of stews lots of stew this is great There's some stew in the shelf. But nobody's doing research, and that's a problem. Anyone else cook? No one else can cook. I guess she has to get through the cooking. Yeah, someone else is going to have to do the cooking. I'm going to send her to do the research. Okay. Yeah, it's going to be a... Give me a little bit. I don't want my books to decay either. Should build a roof for the... Oh, I'm going to get a second research bench up too. That's boss. Right, I forgot I... In which case, they're both going to research. Both Seward and Francis have the same cooking skill. I'm going to send Seward to cook because that's important. And don't forget, uh, when you get a... Is it not done? 99%? What? Somebody finish that. I don't care who finishes it, but somebody finish it. All right, yeah, when you get a new table, um, make sure that you uh, set it to produce chronicles so that your workers can actually work at the station. Okay, we've got beds, day turned over, we've got food, we've actually got a fair amount of food, um, enough for probably most of summer, with this population anyway, if I had one more it might get tight, but uh, <sighs> trees could replenish faster. Late in the game it doesn't seem to matter, um, but trees could replenish faster. I guess I'm going to have to replant some of these these uh, saplings that I've got in inventory before they decay it would be kind of pointless. All right, so I'm going to have this guy put the food away right now before it gets, before it goes bad on me. All right, like I just lost a healing kit. Great, absolutely fantastic.
research is coming along. Yeah, so with two people researching, a little monastery here. I got my little monks working away at their their, their lecterns. Um, we've got 12 chronicles now. We need to get to 15. We actually need to get to double 15. We need to get to, uh, sorry, to 30. We need to get to 60 total um, in order to get the reinforced door and be able to make the iron for it. So that's doable in another game day, but it's going to be basically another game day of just doing this and... I need to haul the meat, don't I? He is hauling the meat, good. With the meat, no, 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 do food doesn't go there, dude. Food doesn't go there. I don't, I don't know how. See, I should have. Doesn't know where to put it. Yes, he does. Let's take all the food, pal. We're doing a research. Oh yeah, we'll get there. We'll get there. Quick. It's more or less everything hauled in now. Got some leather. We got a bunch of leather here. Seventy-four leather that needs to go to the stockpile. I wouldn't normally manually manage my my peasants here, but there are just some items that are clear, like shouldn't be left lying out priorities. Tallow. I haven't found the use for tallow. I think I think it's candles. I think it's the, the wall mount candles. But you wind up with so much damn tallow, um, especially like as the the uh, goats and and other animals start to procreate and you're slaughtering. Like you're, there's a lot of a lot of cast off fats from that. Okay, there we go. We've got some research available to us, um, and I did pull those things in just in time for the. The rain to start. Just in time for the rain to start. Just in time for the rain to start. I don't need him to cook anymore. Uh, could use the plant cutting though, and... Francis should now be hauling and then building. Oops, there we go. Get some. We'll get some lumber in because we're we're gonna need wood too. I should actually create a uh, a stockpile uh, dedicated just for wood. Um, it it gets difficult at later stages in the game. Um, when your stockpiles are very, very full, if you don't have dedicated stockpiles for like every item type, that's a critical consideration. So I, I tend to build them into my design. This is not obviously going to be the permanent siding for a wood pile, but. And I could create a sticks pile too. I could, I could stand to collect some sticks because in, in, in the winter they are fuel. Um, and if you're, if you're besieged, they're fuel too. Um, and if you're besieged in winter, you definitely need the fuel. If you, if you just can't leave your castle to gather stuff, so we'll set up a sticks pile there. That's actually a pretty big sticks pile. <laughs> I would normally make it by like two, two by three. Um, how are we doing our research here? So good, we're at 31. I can take, uh, we got to start with smelting. And that will allow me to build this smelter. And I don't really know where to put it. I guess I'm going to put it in here for now. This is super important piece of equipment. 
and first thing in the morning I'm going to send Francis to uh, to build it when he's when he's up. But yeah, it's a uh, step in the right direction anyway. Not really to do overnight. I guess I guess you could set up schedules to manage your peasants differently and and some of them definitely will have um, I bet you Elmer has so he's an early bird. Um, he can wake up earlier. So yeah, I should I should uh, exploit that that characteristic. And does he have any other? He's happier, and he eats less. Oh, well, yeah. So Elmer can start work a little bit earlier every day. That's and each each character has their, their little quirks and foibles that um, you know should be should be reflected in their management. You don't you don't have to. Um, the game is, you know, playable if you don't optimize uh, their workflow. But if you optimize their workflow, it's a lot better. And he's taking the books. Yes, perfect. Um, on the books note, I'm going to have to build as well bookshelves um, sooner rather than later because books decay. In fact, that might make more sense to do next as opposed to rushing the reinforced door because I still haven't built the... I said I was going to get them on that. Oh, Seward's on it. Yeah, so the, the furnace has to be operational, and then I'm actually going to have to dedicate Elmer to smithing and to mining. And so that means research is going to be his number three. Raise everything by one? Is that how that works? No, lower everything by one? Yeah, that's how that works. And so smithing will be his number one, mining will be his number two, and research for now will be his number three. So if there's nothing to do, um, but since there's no smithing to do, I'm going to have to send him to get some metal. And make sure this gets set up to... I might as well create an iron stockpile. Um, I'm just going to build it off to the side here as well. Uh, it doesn't matter. If it's inside or outside the wall, um, you know, it's not like you're you're smelting anything during the siege. You know, eventually it'll all be inside the wall. But for again, we're getting another shelf, more shelves, lots more shelves. Okay. Okay, I'm actually gonna not. not uh, make all of those food exclusive and some are going to be uh, textile shelves perfect so yeah I can get furniture right now which I'm gonna do that makes sense and furniture will allow me to save my books uh, which is more important than you think um, if you lose a stack of books you don't get them back until you research it again, and that can take some time. So having having bookshelves having bookshelves makes a big difference in terms of your ability to uh, store your collected wisdom. Like you wind up with a library um, in your in your building um, if you build efficiently, but the problem ultimately is that a library can be destroyed. Uh, it can be it can be damaged. I my library got hit by lightning <laughs> in my last game um, because it was at the top of the building in a an exposed spot and the it hit the crafting bench right out. It was it was just terrible. It was just a terrible scene. Um, but if you distribute your books and for that matter your studies uh, throughout your settlements, um, you know it doesn't really matter if like a shelf gets destroyed here or there. You've got books everywhere. But it's a big pain in the ass and you risk losing a lot of books if like your roof gets blown open. Um, it's raining. And the books are decaying while you're trying to rebuild, um, while you know being attacked or worrying about a, a another problem. Things are going swimmingly. Well, the last time I was playing this, I just heard that. Uh, uh, Daria Dugan, uh, Dugana, uh, 
<laughs> had a bad experience uh in moscow and um you know i'm i'm thinking about that now as i as i play just 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 because it's what i was what i was reading and thinking about on um, the last time i was playing on this safe um it's funny how memory works like that but uh yeah there's a story eh? wow wow that's what you get i guess for being a fascist piece of shit um anyway He's gonna have to get woods. Oh no, he's uh, he's he's mining still. Okay, that's good. No, he's not mining. He's smelting. Oh, that's even better. So he's gonna make just one single stack of iron, and then we can have doors. In fact, I could I could chuck somebody back on to research. Wouldn't be Elmer. Um, it could be Francis though, couldn't it? Maybe Francis. He's over here mining anyway. So Ra Ravensworth Castle's a like I said, a real a real castle in England. Um it was ruined. Um I mean it fell into disrepair shortly after the Wars of the Roses, I do believe. Um it played a nominal role in the war, but uh, was the uh, ancestral home of the Fitzhugh, uh, the the Fitzhugh clan, and I've I've uh, I've actually modeled the arms, the ancient arms of Fitzhugh, on the shield for Ravensworth in this game. Um, I thought that was kind of cool that I could do that. But the actual castle would have been like a a twelfth or thirteenth century stone castle, Norman keep style, um, not too dissimilar from what I'm I'm going to build here at all. Um, laid out more or less um, in a similar fashion, but you know what remains of it is like a single standing square tower, a gate, an archway. Like it's it's gone. Um, it's no longer there. There's still a footprint of the building. Um, and, you know, I watch I watch a lot of um, Time Team. I'm, I'm I'm a landscaper myself, right? So I I dig holes for a living. I dig in the ground, um, and I I'm, I'm very much about landscape archaeology. Being able to look at land and say, hmm. What, what possibly could this land have been used for? Like, what was what was the historic significance of this? Oh, this was a defensive structure. Okay, oh, you had a status dwelling at the top of the hill. Like, it's, it's very interesting stuff um, from both, like, a class analysis perspective and an academic perspective. Like, I, I like learning the history, but I also like thinking about how people lived and um, how different it must have been for for, uh, for the rich and the poor and, and everybody in society when things were harder. I mean, things were... Things were pretty damn hard. What's he building? Oh, he's building our bookshelves. See, that's... that's what, So now I can take the books off the pile. And we're at 23. So yeah, we're almost to our doors. Keep doing that. We're almost to our... Uh, Probably by noon, day three, I'll have my uh, my doors up, provided he's he's gotten some more wood. Yeah, so we've got wood now over here. He's just got to, like, somebody's got to haul it. I don't always play this game on the uh, the highest speed. I want to say that too. It's uh, it's an efficient way to play, certainly for the for the purposes of doing a video where I sort of have an idea of what I want to do. Um, and you know, I've been playing with three of these peasants for uh, several save files now, so I've got I've got a very good idea of what they do, who they are, um, what their skills are, and so I can kind of just let it run. Um, and make little tweaks here and there. But if this were a new community, if I didn't know what I was doing, if it was new geography, if it, you know, I wasn't certain of the plan, I, I would like to be playing on um, speed one. Just, you know, and nighttime obviously is an exception to that. But. So here we go. Midnight's coming up, and we'll see how Elmer does getting up early, whether that's uh, whether that's going to work for his his personality type.
then I guess I guess we're gonna be planting trees after I don't know how many I can plant, but we'll see birch saplings. I've got eight birch saplings. So we'll plant eight birch saplings. And ten oak saplings. And maple saplings, we've got 11. I'll put them all over the place because I'll wind up with more. And this is, you know, somebody's job. Somebody's job will be to go out and um, turn those, those little patches into trees. But um, for the moment, it's nobody's job. Probably not let that tree grow in front of my gate, though. And so I can get the doors. And that means that I can pull Francis back off of the job. And that would be there. I'm cooking. What do I want him doing? Um, let's have him cut and have him plant. There we go. And they'll both construct with uh, equal speed. Um, Elmer's making us iron. We've got a bunch of iron now. That's fantastic. Okay. The next step is simply to start demolishing doors and replacing them. And that should happen fairly quickly. So I'm going to, and I'm going to leave that, that outside layer of doors just in case, just in case, but, uh, Okay, and there's our door. So, stupid, they're backwards. Fix that, Foxy Vox will fix that. When you put doors in a frame, you should always be able to rotate them, but these ones you can't rotate. Hey, we got uh, we got a, a newcomer. Um, who'd we get? We got Christian, uh, Reckless Builder. 22 construction, that's fantastic, but, um, I don't know, this, yeah, this could be, this could be an okay person um, to have a rec a reckless builder. Don't know what the perks are. Screw it. Welcome. Uh, let's see who we actually got. Uh, Ill-favored cannibal. Fortified by human flesh. And he's disfigured. Nobody wants to talk to him. He's sluggardly. He moves slow. I feel like we should feed this guy to the wolves. Um, I don't... I don't know what the circumstances for him joining us were. I, I forgot to read that. I know he's not being chased by anyone. Um, I don't know. It's another mouth to feed. It's another... Oh my god, he is so slow. Look at this guy. It's just... just and there's no way to get rid of that status either. Like, he never gets good, so to speak. Get good, Christian. He never gets good. He just... Is always going to be a drain on on the people, the good people of Ravensworth. Okay. But he's building the doors, and that's more than I can say for the other two, so. And so once those reinforced doors are in place, um, it's going to be pretty hard for the enemy to take this position um, with any size of force. Uh, except, you know, later, far, far later when they come with um, immense numbers of archers which they will do they will they will come with archers by uh the i want to say by the dozen archers by the dozen I've, I've seen i think i've seen 12 archers at once well yeah i mean i have i've seen like 15 20 archers in some groups in, in uh, the hardest difficulty mode we'll suppress an entire tower and no one can get a shot off you can't even like you stick your head up that character just dies because like, 20 people shooting at you and it's an RNG as to whether they hit. Someone's going to hit, and of those hits, someone's going to get a headshot. Like, it's just... Yeah. This is going pretty well. This is going pretty well. So we've got double reinforced doors on both entrances. I'm going to have to rotate those doors. 
at some point. Not right now. I don't care. Just we get them up. And that means, I guess, I can start building. Um, we're going to build, what, like a 9x9 nine nine here? What is this? 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9. Uh, hmm. Hmm. I guess it'll be a 9x9 nine nine platform, but I guess it'll be 11x11 11 11 tower. Let me just measure it out. I should be using clay to fill if I'm filling, but how long is this? Two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. So it is it is a nine by nine. That's fine. And no, it's got a it's not quite, eh? It's not quite. Screw it. I'll put my stairs there, won't I? Do I have any stone? Yeah, there is some stone now, so I can put a set of limestone stairs there, because let's face it, we're going to need them. Um, and there's no point in building stairs in wood. I'm just going to replace with stone in a short bit anyway. I will fill those gaps with clay. And fill those gaps, gaps with K, uh, clay. <laughs> and continue the woods around here. And a little clay. So that's a good base. There's there's a good base for a tower. Um, in fact, I may just build it in wood and I may make an 11 by 11 uh, stone tower around the outsides is what I was what I expect will happen here Looks it looks wider than it is two three four five six seven eight nine one two three four five six seven eight nine ten somehow I went Huh Huh, huh. I see what I did but I don't know if I, I guess I can undo that right that's i mean i don't want to waste the wood i'm just gonna where did i oh, i selected him so i'm just gonna build uh the next tower uh there we go so that that'll actually be a square tower it's got to be square um this this level will be part of the uh, next step uh building stone but and we will put another flight of stairs on the other side of it and I want to put a couple windows, not too many windows. You know, you don't want your buildings to be too porous, but you want your you want your folks to be able to see out uh, if they're being uh, pinned down or penned in. Um, also, uh, I think it it adds some uh, temperature control to a room that you can make uh, cooler in the summer and warmer in the winter. I believe is how that works. Oh, so we're gonna need a uh, beam. Really, do we need a beam on a 9x9 nine nine tower? Or should I put a central pillar? No, I guess we'll use beams, won't we? That's about right. That's about right. Probably gonna get attacked pretty soon, I would I would imagine. Um, put a wooden flight of stairs up here. And then super simple, um, oh, of course, requires beams, just like the floor below it requires beams. But of course, I'm gonna crenellate the top of this. Um, both, both for aesthetic and uh, like actual functional reasons, I want this this tower to uh, you know provide a provide a platform to shoot down the other side. Really, um, on the uh, there's not really a north or south, is there on this map? But on the opposite side of the castle here. Um, if some if some folks were to be over here, uh, archers could shoot down. 
um, so it's a, a commanding position other than the gate. Plus, it covers the central courtyard. Now, I should also replace the door of the house. That's important. Um, you know, you can put reinforced doors everywhere you want, but if the enemy accesses your courtyard um, and your your house, uh, your, your your dwelling isn't also secure, then they're just they're just going to bust through, um, and then they're going to be you know breaking down your your uh, research bench or your campfire. Um, that can cause major problems down the line. So we're going to uh, duck around those problems. And I guess we're going to have to cut more trees now, aren't we? There's some wood in the ground there, but... And the wooden stairs are going up. And that gives them access to the, the next tier. Yeah, perfect. Yeah, how are we doing on research? So, um, I guess I can make the next common sense thing for me to make. Probably that tailoring bench. Um, let me see. I haven't, I haven't messed with this guy's schedule at all. I'll put him in the same schedule as most of the others. I have not also, uh, Played with his um, dress for summer, dress for summer, and let's go with uh, no head, all headgear, all headgear. And what are his actual skills? No marksman and no melee. This guy's beyond useless. This guy's so bad. I <sighs> we're gonna vote him off the island. That's what's gonna happen here. Um, I forget how to do that offhand. If I select them, there's got to be some. Got to be some option. I've seen it before to dismiss someone from the community. Well, I don't see it now. Maybe it's in here? No, I wouldn't be that lucky. Perhaps under jobs? Nope. Should be under manage. Let's make sure he's eating. Boy, he can eat people, but I don't want him to eat people. Maybe he'll work faster if I let him eat people. Okay. Christian, let's see how you fare eating people. Uh, if this turns into... Fava beans, I'm, uh, I'm out. Towers coming together, and that, that again, the tower will provide a nice, uh, safe place in the winter um, for us to have more beds because it's getting a little cramped in that in that house, um, it's cramped sleeping outside. So, uh, and and on that note, because I plan to use this, put a brazier in it, and I guess the first floor is going to be uh, an armory. To store some of the weapons we're, we're going to get in the uh, near future. And I don't know if a tailor bench has a... Oh, I didn't actually research it? Is that what happened? Yeah, that's what happens. Weird, okay. Um, yeah, I don't know if it has a profile that will we'll let it fit easily in this space. Not really. So it can go on the second floor. Yeah, it's going to go down here. And I'll put another brazier on this floor uh, in the corner. I didn't, I didn't put any windows in that uh, second floor. That's, that's fine for now. I can always have them add windows if it becomes pressing. Still got some meat left, which um, is good, but he needs to... Oh, is he sewered? He's doing what? He's gardening. He's, oh, he's been planting all these trees. That's cool. Good job, guy. Good job. Um, I'm going to have Francis to swap over to harvesting.
Means I'm gonna pull these, uh, pull the cabbages, and the barley is gonna be up in two days. We run out of wood. Is that what happened? Ran out of wood. Cut more trees. Always gotta cut more trees. This is, uh, That's why the Amazon rainforest is in trouble, I guess. Building another flight of stairs up to the next floor. Almost finished, but then decided to go play backgammon. What else is working? Oh, he's praying. Who is starving? Who could possibly be starving? Oh, he's just worked so long he got hungry. Yeah, that, that's the thing that happens. I do that all the time. Today's probably the attack day, I would imagine. Um, it's getting it's halfway through summer, I haven't been attacked yet. Again, I'm really not worried about it at this point in time. Um, although, I did not get Christian a weapon. Do we have any weapons for him on the stockpile? It doesn't really matter. He sucks at everything, doesn't he? Uh, I guess I'll give him a spear. Spear seems like the most useful thing we've got. He's not going to get better at fighting from his like, zero skill. Like, yeah, if you, if you put helmets on your characters to prevent them from getting critically headshot, um, you can make them attack each other, and so you create like a little gladiatorial ring and have them like scrap um, to build their skills over time uh, with weak weapons. Like you can make like uh, wooden clubs and stuff for them. That's good. That'll raise their skills. But from a zero skill to level one, like that's just oh boy. Uh, maybe maybe in the next episode we'll start training Christian the cannibal. Um... They're hauling this stuff in, right? Nobody is going to finish that damn door. Of course no one's going to finish that damn door. Because there's no wood. Because no one's cutting. Why is no one cutting? Because they're prioritizing harvesting. Why is he prioritizing harvesting? I guess because I didn't tell him to cut. There he goes. Milking my goat. Elmer is going to be put on hauling duty for a little while, I think. Got to make sure he collects the food, though, here. Don't want it to go bad on me. See, it started 42 of 50. Like, it starts to decay pretty quick. Um, if you leave food sitting out in the open, go figure. Don't really get to it. I don't think I'm, in a second, gonna, I'm going to get a second barley crop in, though. Um, if I'm planting on day seven, that's right on the line of um, when the barley will be ready for... Okay, so we're not getting an attack. We're getting another, another community member. Um, I hope I have enough beds up front. Get a confident butcher. Um, always need more cooks. That's good. Um, doesn't appear to have any combat skills. Has some animal handling and mining, um, at least proficiencies. So, and her uh, religion's neutral. She's tall and um, weighs, weighs a fair amount. Okay. Big girl. Welcome. Now, like everybody else, of course, uh, means we're going to be attacked. I didn't see who she was running from. That could be important. If she's running from, like, you know, the government, the, you know, the, the equivalent of 
the monarchy uh, or people I want to trade with. Like maybe I don't want to keep her, but for right now, uh, I didn't also check what her personality is. She's industrious, like a bee, and she's good looking. Okay. Yeah, cool. Um, I think she's a keeper. And uh, as far as her combat skills, she has marksman skill. That's great. That's so. I want everyone to have ten marksmen so they can use the war bows. Um, it just it just works out better that way. Give her all headgear. Give her summer apparel, and all armor. And she will only eat meals. And I did set Christian to do cannibal. Yeah. All right. Oh, that's why he's starving, though. Oh, because I didn't have a, I didn't have a corpse to feed him. Oh, I'm so smart. I'm so smart. In fact, do I not have a corpse? I guess the corpse is decayed. Oh, the corpse has got put in this. So there are corpses, but I guess you gotta cook people too. You can't see it's not just like a raw a raw cannibal, right? Like it's you know. Oh, this thigh is delicious kind of guy. He's, he's, he, wants it, he wants it sliced, and he just wants to know it's beef. That kind of guy. I, I don't get that, now, actually. There's no endorsement of cannibalism here. Just <laughs> so I'm being clear. <laughs> Yikes. Yikes and several fucking bikes. Down for the evening. We did have enough beds for six community members. That's outstanding. I'm gonna I'm gonna move those beds, um, some of them at least up onto the second floor here. Probably these three outside sleepers are gonna be moved up onto the second floor um, tomorrow. And the enemy gets here 19 hours. We don't even have to prepare. We just kind of like killing time until they get here. Oh, I've got uh, I've got good beds now. Um, I mean, I don't actually I don't have space for good beds now that I now that I think about it, but. Uh, I don't know. It's fine. <sighs> I'm kind of low on hay, too. I'm going to have to send someone out to do some harvesting after the raid. Um, once we, once, what, what is this raid going to be? Two archers, two fierce marauders, and five marauders. Nine enemies, I think. Um, that's a fair amount to be attacking my gate when I've only got three archers. But we're going we're gonna to win. Like, we will kill them. Excuse me. They get here in 14 hours, which would be like nighttime. I think after this, I'm going to play some squad. There, there's a War of Rights event running tonight. Um, I really do want to get back into the Civil War mill sim. Um, but squad just got a big, big, big uh, update. Uh, it's actually had a couple big, big, big updates since I last played. But um, I'd really like to tear into that and get my, you know, get my teeth into some, some good content. I don't know if I'm going to do a full video or just like a, a highlights reel. Because it, it, is, it is difficult to do... Um, to do squad uh, videos on um, public servers. It's not impossible, but it is difficult, especially like coherent videos. Um, you know, halfway through, some guy can just get, like run by and scream in the N-word. Um, and you know, not only do you have to go edit that out, but like it just breaks up the continuity of um, of, of the gameplay. But uh, I'm gonna also seek out in the uh, coming weeks a more professional um, and focused squad community. Um, I was talking to some folks about squad and I was like, oh, I should, I should play that, um, more the way I used to. I used to play with a group tactical gamer, um, in project reality. And before that, Texas team players and project reality and, uh, um, oh, who else did I play with? Seventh, seventh Cav briefly. And I don't know. I, I played with a bunch of different Milsim groups. Um, but a tactical gamer was by far the best. They don't exist anymore. I don't think, I don't think at all that they exist. I don't know what happened to them. It was really sad. Um, there was some split back in like 2009 into United Operations. They also don't exist anymore. Um, they were weird. They were weird. 
um, but Tactical Gamer was just the pinnacle of like an Arma 3 experience, of a uh, squad experience, of a Project Reality experience, and I'm talking about games that aren't the one I'm playing and the enemy gets here in five minutes. Um, there, we're just building our tower. I don't think there's, I'm just gonna slow time down. I don't think there's anything I have to do. I can't get her a bow. I'm gonna have to loot her a bow. Um, I should have made her cook though this whole time, shouldn't I have? Yeva, you wanna do some cooking for us? And she's also a researcher, look at that. We're doing fine. In the next session, I'm probably going to lay down the uh, the stone perimeter and start start stone mining um, as the community expands a little bit. We're going to try to get to, yeah. So we're we're at uh, six people right now. We're going to try to get to eight people. Eight people um, probably is what I need to build. Uh, stone wall, at least rudimentary stone wall, um, and then we'll build an additional layer of stone wall on the outside, um, which will be made of that, that uh, sort of faced ashlar brick. Okay, here come the violent extortionists. So they're they're slavers. We've got violent extortionists chasing her, the progeny of the plague. I have no problems fighting them. Um, it won't compromise my diplomatic standing. So uh, I definitely don't want to surrender her back. We refuse to bow to their demands, and now we have to fight. So first. I'm going to take a look at them. Metal helmets, that's good. Um, you know, I, I look at them to see what I can loot. That's... And who to, who to primary. I, I only see two archers, and they both have short bows, so we're definitely not going to lose the shootout. But um, I'm worried about those clubs and my doors. Um, they can still break down a reinforced door uh, with a little bit of effort. It's not, it's not too easy, but it's also not too hard. And you really you want to stop them while you can. So we're going to call up the troops here. Also, like we don't have any helmets. Um, Francis is the only one whose helmet has... Uh, oh, Christian's outside the wall. And Francis and Christian are going to have to hold the gateway, um, despite one of them not being able to fight. And Yeva uh, can just, like... I don't know. She can, she can stand in here where it's safe. And I'll spread these folks out on the wall because the enemy should be on their way. Yeah, here they come. So you know the enemy raids aren't too complicated. I'd like to see. Um, I think I think I said this before, but I'd like to see a little bit more variation in terms of what they do, what they bring. Catapults, battering rams. Um, like there's there's a handheld battering ram, but I mean like real siege equipment would be cool. I already killed one. So we got hit. The, the battlements really do provide a substantial amount of cover. If you're building without battlements, you're doing it wrong. Uh, and I was for a while. I was like, ah, I don't need that little bonus. But the percentage bonus stacks up. So he's taking a small amount of damage, but he'd be taking a lot of damage. A lot of damage if he got hit without. Okay, so they're they're now starting to break through the doors. But they're not going to get through both sets of doors, certainly. But I may have to open the doors. Um, so that Francis can kill um, whomever's left. He could he could fight the guy. There we go. And this will route them now. They're still attacking the doors for no reason. They broke my doors. They broke my doors. That cost me ten iron, you bastards. Oh, Francis got clobbered there. One more kill. There we go. Alright, so we lost the door. We're still gonna try to kill them as they run because... Hit, hit, hit. Uh, so close. We want to loot their corpses. over here and Francis is badly injured that's no good 
That's no good. What did what did he uh, what happened to him? Mild concussion, bruised chest, bruised arm. He's not bleeding, but he's caused problems because he can see a dead body too. Okay, whatever. Get over yourself, dude. And I'm gonna have these folks. She can grab him. And we got the last marauder. So everyone's demobilized. Um, and we've got some racks for the kit to go on. That's good. That's really good. So who's getting upgrades first? Seward can have a male helmet. I don't think he's wearing any mail, so I'll give him uh, one of the suits of mail off the ground here. Not that it's great mail. Yep, that's fine. The Yeva is going to take a bow. And probably that Gambison, um, which is a fine Gambison. Wow. Yeah, that was in good shape. Okay. And she can take a light helmet as well. It's a fine. Uh, it's a sturdy. 3% to 1.7%. Uh, yeah, she wants that one. And Christian, because he's got no combat skill, is also just going to take a short bow. That makes way more sense. He's just adding an extra shot to the mix. Um, he's not going to kill anything with a spear, but with a bow, um, he might slowly gain skill over time. And we're going to give him some light armor. And then Elmer can have some mail armor. Is Francis wearing mail armor? Um, he's going to be in. He is not wearing mail armor. So look at that last set of. Oh, he's unconscious. Of course he's unconscious. He just got fucked up. There, he's conscious. Great. The last thing I'm going to have to do. is we need a stockpile for clothing now it's just for again this period in time but uh we'll add apparel why is it not under armor oh apparel's up there yeah so we'll add apparel to that and we'll take apparel off of this and again, that just that you keep your clothes inside. Eventually, you keep your clothes on dummies. They don't they don't decay at all. Like you, uh, you have pop proper uh, coat racks, but early on, you leave your clothes lying around the ground. They eventually will decay. Um, oh, we're getting our barley in too. I better make sure that everyone's respecting the yeah. So no one's gonna eat the barley raw, and no one's gonna cook the barley. Yeah, that's all I care about. That barley is super important to not this not this uh, season, but to next season. Um, replace this reinforced door. You saw how quickly the enemy got through that door, though. Like that was. Well, we have over here just a club and shield. Yeah, that, it was not too fast, but you can see how, like, if there was a group of 15 enemies there, they, they would have got through, and we would have had to fall back to the tower and do that again, and they, they might have gone into the tower, and then, like, then where do they go, right? We're, we're in the tower, and so right now, there's only one entrance, and if the enemy comes in that entrance, we're all going to the top, and, and we're dying there. That's, like, um, sort of how this game can end. This game can end very badly for all the residents. Not, you know, not as dark as Project Zomboid or anything like that, like, Obviously, it's still a happy, fun, um, medieval game, but it, it does it does have its moments of, of extreme gravitas. Um, and they're going to add uh, in the next update, I believe, um, uh, resident interactions, like people getting fights with each other, or like a fall in love, or you know, there's probably going to be festivals or events or things like because you know right now there's no social space. If you build a great hall, nothing happens there. Um, in fact, I'm not even sure that the game recognizes a Great Hall as a room type, which it really should. Um, you know, right now, if I turn on uh, rooms detected, you know, it detects uh, two spare rooms right now. That's what I've got. I've got two spare rooms because it doesn't really know that this is a uh, kitchen. It's like library, bedroom, kitchen, storage. And this is like bedroom storage. So um, 
what do we have actually there's a list here of the different room types kitchens workshop library uh, workshop i've never actually managed to build a workshop interesting oh two times wall tool shelf ha huh. and workstations are produced faster okay so now i understand what okay cool library church of restitution so you you have a proper chapel uh oak brethren temple bedroom shared bedroom great hall is a room type look at me putting my foot in my mouth oh that's so cool i'm gonna build all of these things in this castle neat and we're gonna we're gonna get the room types going um so they're hauling that they're hauling the barley in slowly if it starts to rain we'll haul it in quickly the hay doesn't have to go anywhere in a hurry that's just goat food we are gonna have to cut a bunch of hay that's it's, it's getting on toward the end of summer and you know what that means that means harvest it's it's harvest time it's harvesting season i was actually playing that this uh this week um banner lords um is getting its final its final iteration on mountain blade banner lord at some point in the uh, not too distant future i think october 25th don't quote me on that but i think october 25th um and i'm excited i'm excited but also like I haven't played Bannerlord. I, I no longer know how to play Bannerlord. I was um, the uh, Warband champion, the absolute champion of Warband. Um, mastered Warband, mastered Viking Conquest, uh, mastered mods for it like 1257 AD. That was the best mod ever made for any Mountain Blade. Um, but Bannerlord just hasn't hooked me, and there aren't mods yet. Although there is one coming uh, soon, which I'm really stoked for, um, which is uh, Arte Delguera. It's... Uh, war of the roses um so like early renaissance late medieval like right on the cusp of firearms um full plate gothic full plate uh field engagements between knights in england that one looks really cool i'm i'm a big i'm a big fan of the war of the roses time period um and i'm um, certain characters therein i'm uh yeah <laughs> there's a movie coming out too richard the third movie coming out soon so um stoked on all fronts for uh you know it's like it's a good year to be a medievalist, and and there's even a there's even a Hussite movie coming out called Medieval um, about uh, Jan Ziska, um, the the Hussite war leader uh, from Czechia. So it, this is like, yeah, good good year good year to be into this stuff. Um, you know, I'm I'm still very much a sci-fi nerd, uh, fantasy and and history. I take a back back seat to that. I I tend to mind the depths of fantasy and history. Uh, oh no we don't want you doing that no 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 sir no do not so anymore um take in what we've got god damn you um in fact i'm just going to delete these these have no purpose uh beyond what they've already been used for that'll do it. But yeah i tend to mine the depths of uh fantasy medieval ip in order to uh find concepts that make for compelling uh, science fiction um uh, at least in my writing that's what i have been doing but i am i am i am writing a science fiction novel um it uh i don't know i'm i'm uh, tens of thousands of words into it um lots and lots of pages of notes um uh, scads of pages of notes i'm using obsidian um, which is a like a thought organizing software that has like offline backup options and stuff like it's it's superior to working with cloud technology um and uh i'm rambling here i'm absolutely rambling um about science fiction while playing going medieval see it's, it's kind of it's kind of a smooth brain game like you don't uh, it's not quite idle but it's you can be you know you can be idle i can go afk for a few minutes and provided i've told everyone what to do my community will manage itself we've got wooden chairs we can build don't want to build wooden traps we can build don't want to build i think uh, i think this is good i think i think for right now um i've achieved my goals for this play session we defeated the raid their corpses lie at my gates uh, for christian to consume when i figure out how to uh, make christian a cannibal actually a cannibal um which will be in the next episode and we're gonna get some uh, some stone laid down um we're gonna start um growing this community uh into a proper castle town um ravensworth castle so that's all for me for now this has been postmodern cowboy playing going medieval a uh community management game a medieval community management game and city slash town builder from foxy voxel um and the irregular corporation i believe those are the producers 
Well, thanks so much for watching. Uh, if you like watching me play video games, if you want to play some video games with me, uh, if you want to chat about video games, uh, hit me up on YouTube, subscribe to my channel, uh, throw me a like uh, here and there, follow me on Twitter, pomo underscore cowboy. Um, but yeah, keep it peaceful out there.